Hello everyone, it is now Criterion sale time at Barnes & Noble, 50% off. I love this sale every time of year. So, I wanted to go over some recommendations. But it is also November, which some people dub noir Vember because of film noir movies. Well, Criterion Collection has a fair amount of them. Right now, I'm going to show you five that I recommend and this is a little bit more of, you can call it a starter pack, because this is some of the biggest stuff in this genre that's in the Criterion Collection. These are big titles, definitely a good chunk of these are must-sees. So for older movies, for classic stuff, big important stuff, Hitchcock comes to mind, because Alfred Hitchcock is a legend. And I couldn't possibly do this video talking about film noir, talking about big important ones, and not mention Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious, starring Ingrid Bergman, Cary Grant. This movie is, first of all, it's fantastic. This is one of his best that is not, I guess, lumped in with the big ones. This isn't talked about in the same breath as a vertigo, as a rear window. But that, make no mistake, this is a fantastic movie. This is Cary Grant as a U.S. intelligence officer that is basically the point of contact with Ingrid Bergman trying to have her be a spy and dish out intelligence to the United States. It, it, if you've seen, say, Mission Impossible 2, weird, weird segue there, but where she's kind of playing that double agent role in there, kind of feeding the information. Similarities, but this is way better than Mission Impossible 2. Uh, this is a fantastic film noir movie. Absolutely couldn't not talk about this one. This is, this would probably be in my top 10. This definitely would be in my top 10 for Hitchcock. Phenomenal movie. Pick this up on the sale and look at that artwork. Great release overall, looks fantastic. I always love Cary Grant movies, so excellent, excellent movie. Your night is winding down, you're ready for another movie, but you don't have a whole lot of time. You're ready to go up and hit the bed, you're ready to fall asleep, but you wanna fit something in? How about something that's only 69 minutes long? Yeah, just over an hour, super quick movie. Uh, very, very quick paced. This was a very low budget movie for the time, but this thing gets recommended in all types of film noir lists for a good reason. It's very well done. He is a hitchhiker, runs across a woman who happens to die in his, not possession, uh, in his vicinity, and ends up running across this woman also, who is going to pretty much extort money from him to help with I can't really give anything away this is a, a lot of stuff happens in only 69 minutes but uh this was really well done this woman is very very conniving uh he was really good it was fun it was a fun movie uh super quick snappy pacing I enjoyed that 69 minutes are going to be in and out of this thing so quick look at that gorgeous artwork also fantastic release like I said super quick pacing I can't really say too one of the things with film noir is a lot of it is based on twists and turns and you don't want to give that stuff away because it can ruin the movie so a lot of these you can't really dive too much into saying stuff but I will recommend you should see it and then we talk twists and turns and we're talking about some big movies. How about the one that's basically like the the top dog in this genre, I think at least. It is, you talk film noir, this, this movie is at either the top of people's lists or pretty much there. And that is Double Indemnity. This movie is freaking incredible. Twists and turns, fantastic acting. Uh, this is basically committing murder for insurance fraud, but the guy works for the insurance and his boss is trying to figure things out. There's a lot of cool stuff in this movie. Uh, Fred McMurray is great. He's been great in a lot of movies I've seen. I still have a lot of his stuff to see. This is a phenomenal movie and this is basically, as I said, like the top dog in the genre. Like This is absolutely must see movie right here. So I guess if I'm going to recommend one out of these 
five, I guess make this your, your starter. You're brand new to film noir. Make this your starter. Really, you will you will love this movie. I can't possibly give this a high enough mark. You will love it. Pickpockets and commies. How do they work together in a movie? Well, you're going to have to check out Pick Up on South Street to really see. This is a cool movie. It, uh, it takes place over a relatively short amount of time, but it is... An exchange that's happening that basically gets pickpocketed along the way. Again, film noir, you can't give things away because it can ruin it. And I'm not intending to make a video to ruin this stuff for anyone. But really cool performances. The lead actress was really freaking good. Uh, she was supposed to be Marilyn Monroe apparently. And Marilyn Monroe turned it down. Cool tidbit. But, uh, what is her name? Therese, or Thelma Ritter, Teresa, yeah. Thelma Ritter in this, this, who was nominated for this after, this was her fourth nomination in a row at the time. She, she was freaking phenomenal in this. Holy hell. You will know her when you see her. She's an older woman, uh, with a higher pitched voice that just kind of, I don't know, she killed it in her role. It, it's just a supporting role, uh, she was great, so it was a definitely a well-earned nomination for this movie. I gotta check out. I haven't. I've only seen one of the other movies she was nominated for, which was All About Eve. But two of the other ones, I have to check them out. She was freaking awesome. And last but not least, for this recommendation is again another huge one. Huge one, just got a 4K, I think it was like only last year, or heck, it might even have been early this, earlier this year. I don't know. Time is a blur. But, Mildred Pierce with Joan Crawford, you gotta see this movie. Uh, it, it keeps you enthralled the whole time. It's film noir heavily in the start and end and somewhere in the middle and throughout weaves this... this romance story and this tragedy really freaking good Joan Crawford was amazing in it again and she was nominated in this the movie was nominated uh all well deserved the there are some despicable characters I guess I'll put it that way there is a daughter in here that is honest to god one of the most vile spoiled brat little sons of guns I've ever seen in a movie she's She's horrible. I, I hated her so much. Which is her... The actress did great. Because you're supposed to hate her. But oh my god is she vile. There's another character in here that you just want to reach through the screen and strangle. Uh, there is despicable people in here. But Joan Crawford was fantastic. Really, really high recommendation on this one. I mean, I recommend all of them very, very highly. Put them together right here. That's all five of my recommendations here, which this is not really deep cut stuff here. This is this is some big stuff. Hitchcock, Double Indemnity, Mildred Pierce. Like, you're talking pretty big titles. I guess the deepest cuts would be uh, Detour and Pick Up on South Street would probably be the deepest cuts. I recommend them all, but definitely, definitely make this, I guess, priority number one. And I would go priority number two to this one, probably. Uh, like I said, it's sale time. This is the time to grab them. So let me know down below your thoughts on any of these five movies, or all five if you've seen them. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing another one of these film noir criterion ones. I'm going to try to put a couple of film noir recommendation videos for you. I know I'm going to be doing a Kino Lorber one, because God, Kino Lorber's got a lot of great ones. But... Yes, that is all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Go enjoy that Criterion sale time. Go buy some movies. Go enjoy them. And that's all. Have a good one.